Assistant Commissioner of Police, ACP Clifford Chambers, say he believe Wednesday morning triple murder in from West Milan's gang affiliated, indicating that one of the victims is known by the police. Chambers said the killing was supposedly a result of a feud between warring factions. The information that we had so far, which has so far been confirmed, is that this is, a, is that this is a continuation of a gang dispute involving two of the major gangs which operate in West Milan, ACP Chambers confirmed. The victims have been identified as 54-year-old boom vendor Everal Rowe, who live across from the bar, and Kemar Simit and Andre McDonald, both of Gully Bank in Savannah Mar in the parish. One of the persons who has been killed is a person who is known to the police and has been a subject of a major police operation. In fact, he has since been arrested and charged and was reporting on condition of bail he shared. The top cop also confirmed that another of the victims was involved in lottery scamming. The other person is known as a lottery scammer and both are associated with a particular gang in West Milan that is in conflict with another. ACP Chambers told Observer Online, while noting he deliberately chose not to name the warring gangs. Meanwhile, he said the foam area has been problematic. This area where the incident happened is also an area of concern and has been an area that the police are given a lot of attention to. He took the opportunity to appeal to the public to come forward with any information that could help the police in solving Wednesday's bloody murder and shooting. Almost a year after he fatally shot, two-year-old Adrian Campbell in Clarkstown, Trelawney, 20-year-old Anthony Finley is to be sentenced for the crime. Fin Finley pleaded guilty to the charges of murder, shooting with intent and making use of, a, use of a firearm to commit a felony in relation to the March 12, 2023 incident when he appeared in Trelawney Circuit Court on Tuesday. He is to be sentenced on March 11. It is reported at about 7.50 on the day in question the child was seated in the back of a car while the owner of the vehicle was in the driver's seat. Finley armed with a handgun walked up to the driver's window and fired at the man with whom he had dispute. But the man drove off resulting in the shot missing him and eating little Adrian. The child was pronounced dead at the hospital. Finley fled the area. He was later found hiding at the back of a gas station in Duncan's. On a caution, he admitted to the shooting and lamented that Adrian was not his target.